This video will explain how to use your Polycom VVX 600 phone. Let's take a look at the basics. The handset, the keypad, the speaker, the voice message waiting indicator, and the touch screen. This is the touch screen. The navigation on the touch screen is based on touch. To select an item, tap it. You can perform the functions that appear on the screen. The buttons on the bottom of the screen are referred to as soft keys in this tutorial. Their functions are context sensitive, which means that their functions change depending on your current menu. For example, if you are conferencing, the screen displays functions related to the conference function. The lines view is your phone's default display. This view displays your phone lines, your favorites, and your presence. The home view is displayed when you press the home key. From here, you can initiate new calls and access your messages, directories, forward and do not disturb feature settings, settings and applications. For example, to see a list of available settings and options, tap Settings, then Basic option. The Basics option lets you configure your preferences, backlight intensity, backlight timeout, ring type, and login credentials. Finally, there are the feature keys. The ones you will use most often are the Home key, the Headset key, the speakerphone key, and the mute key. To place a call, pick up the handset, dial the number, and tap the dial key. To answer a call, pick up the handset, or press the speakerphone or headset feature key, or the answer soft key. To answer an incoming call, when you're already on an active call, tap the answer button on the screen. Your first call will automatically be placed on hold. To retrieve your first call, from the lines view, tap the call to highlight it and tap the resume soft key. A red voicemail message waiting indicator light notifies you when you have a new voicemail message. The message count will be displayed near the message icon. To check your voicemail, tap the voicemail messages button. Enter your voicemail passcode, followed by the pound or hash key. Follow the audio prompts to retrieve your voicemail messages. If you forget your voicemail passcode, please contact your system administrator to have it reset. To put an active call on hold, tap the hold soft key. To resume the call, tap the Resume soft key. If you have more than one call on hold, tap the call and press the Resume soft key to resume. The Do Not Disturb feature is used to send all incoming calls to voicemail. To enable Do Not Disturb, press the DND soft key. You will see the Do Not Disturb icon by your lines indicating that the feature has been enabled. Please note that once Do Not Disturb is enabled, calls cannot be received until you disable the feature. To disable Do Not Disturb, repeat the steps above. To initiate a three-way conference call, while on an active call, tap Conference. The active call is placed on hold. Enter the second number and press the Dial button. When the second party answers, tap More, then Conference to join the calls. A blind or unattended transfer takes place when you transfer a call to someone else without announcing the call first. To conduct a blind transfer while on an active call, tap Transfer, then select Blind. Enter the destination you wish to transfer the call to and press the Dial key. This completes the transfer. An assisted or announced transfer is performed when you announce the call to the recipient prior to transferring the call. 
to conduct a consulted transfer. While on an active call, tap Transfer and enter the destination you wish to transfer the call to. Then press the Dial key. The caller is automatically placed on hold. Once the receiving party answers, announce the call. To complete the transfer, tap Transfer again. A direct transfer to voicemail is performed when you wish to transfer a call directly to another user's voicemail. To conduct a direct transfer to voicemail, while on an active call, tap Transfer. Next, enter star 55 and following the voice prompts, enter the user's extension followed by the pound key. You will hear a confirmation message. This completes the transfer to voicemail. You can also use the touchscreen to review your call history. From the lines view, tap the call history icon. Your call history is displayed. To dial a number, find the desired number and tap it to automatically place the call. You can monitor the status of coworkers' calls from the lines view. When a coworker user is on the phone, the presence icon shows a busy symbol and a red status indicator bar is displayed. When the user is not on the phone, their presence icon does not have a symbol or a light associated with it. The lines view also functions as a speed dial, allowing you to quickly dial that user. To speed dial a user, tap the line key of the user you wish to dial. To manage the users on your list, please contact your site administrator. Thank you for viewing this how-to video covering the features and functions of your Polycom VVX 600 phone.